Now, for those of you who haven't had an Apple TV before, well, it's basically something to upgrade your TV. Nowadays, almost all TVs are smart TVs. So technically, most of you don't need an Apple TV. However, there's a lot of things that you still can't do on your smart TV and you can do on an Apple TV. For example, what I use it the most with is actually airplane. So I know there is something that's similar to AirPlay that smart TVs can do. However, it's not the exact same thing. I can actually AirPlay to see the exact same screen that I'm looking at on my phone to my TV. Or if I go to a website on my phone and I want to project that out onto my TV, I can. So I can watch the exact same stuff that I'm watching on my phone on my TV. So that's the main thing that I use it for. However, there are some games too. So if you're a gamer, this could be something for you maybe, just a tad. I, I wouldn't call this a gaming console or anything like that, but that's why there's gigs into this. So some people might be thinking of getting more gigs for their Apple TV. And yes, I mean, that's good if you want to game a lot, but other than that, you don't really need more gigs. If you want the standard stuff, then you don't. So you definitely don't need more gigs if you're just gonna use this for that, to watch TV and hook it up to your phone easier and share stuff. It's just makes life easy that way. So we're gonna take all this away. I'm gonna put this on the side for now and take a look at everything that's in the box. So again, this is an unboxing video. So I'm gonna show you exactly what's inside the box and that's about it. I do have a setup video, a review, and a manual for your Apple TV. Now, even if you guys have the other Apple TV 4K that came out before this one, so it's a different controller, you might notice that. Because um, you might not notice differences between the Apple TV and the actual device, but you will see the differences between the controllers. The, con the older controller was a black one, much thinner, much lighter than the new one. The new one reminds me actually of the really old controllers that came out way before. And it looks, yeah, almost exactly the same. Not exactly the same, but almost exactly the same as the really old controllers. So that's kind of funny. Newest one actually looks like the oldest controllers that came out at first. And the um, other one was just the black controller. And they're not the best controllers in the world, but they work. Uh, it does come with the cable. Now keep in mind that this cable that it came with is to charge up your controller. So this is something that Apple has to make up their mind with. And eventually they're gonna have to change this. It should have been USB-C by now because they've been changing a lot of st their stuff into USB-C. And really they can't really keep doing this, going with between regular USB and USB-C. They should just stick with USB-C and that's about it. But anyways, that's the cable that you get just to charge up your controller has nothing else to do with your Apple TV itself. And you also get a bunch of, well, they're kind of manuals. And they don't teach you that much. Let me just open it up so you guys can see. So that's about it. And well, it is that easy to set it up. You just plug it in and then just go throughout, put your Apple ID and you're pretty much done. There's other stuff that you can put, parental controls and all that stuff in there. But anyways, right now what you're looking at is everything you get inside the box. There isn't anything else. So this will go plugged into your Apple TV. Your Apple TV doesn't come with an HDMI cable, so buy one. I would buy a 4K one, obviously, because this is 4K. And I do have to mention that this isn't just 4K, it's HDR as well. And regardless of how many gigs you've got in your Apple TV, you're gonna get the exact same stuff in whichever one you've got. And again, I wanna highlight that the older version had a black controller, was a different design, much simpler, was actually much thinner and it worked a little bit different. But I do like this new one that came. It, it does feel a bit better than the older one for sure. And by the way, even if you're thinking about the older Apple TV 4K versus the HDR one, the one that just came out this one, I would suggest just getting this one. And that's because the 4K, I think that one was a fail from Apple. It just doesn't last as long. Uh, what even lasted longer than the 4K, which the Apple TV HD, I found that one to be even better. Um, even with the controller, it lasted longer, although it was very similar to the 4K one. Now let's take a look at the Apple TV itself. As you can see, all the way around it, there isn't anything. Um, you can get smudges over it very, very easily. And only on the back side, so here's the back, you're gonna see the connections. You just have HDMI, 
You've got Ethernet, so you could hook it up directly to your router using a cable. Most of you will not do that, we'll just use Wi Fi. And greedy for just streaming stuff, I doubt that you're gonna use Ethernet, but you can. And right here, that's just for your power. That's where you're gonna hook it up. Other than that, there's nothing else all the way around your Apple TV, as you guys can see right now. There's literally nothing, nothing all the way around. Now, if you look at the bottom of the Apple TV, that's just for ventilation, because we do need some ventilation. These things can get a little bit hot. And just to answer a really quick question from a few people that asked me in my channel, does this come with Netflix and Prime and all that other stuff? Well, you can download that from the App Store right here on Apple TV. So it doesn't come pre-installed with those things, but you can definitely download them yourselves. And it is free. Now, obviously the service itself, like Netflix, or maybe Disney or Prime or anything like that, you have to pay for those services because those are channels, those are services. And if you're thinking about Apple TV Plus, the channel itself, well, that's also different than this. This is a device that hooks up to your TV. Apple TV Plus is a channel where you guys can view a lot of stuff actually now. Before, they didn't have that much. Right now, they have more and more stuff in there. And if you're thinking about the Apple TV, the app itself, well, the app is actually can be found in almost everywhere. Not everywhere, but almost everywhere. Now that app is just a hub. It's a hub for you guys to look up. If you're looking from a particular movie, for example, you can search that up in the hub and the hub will point you out everywhere that you could watch that particular movie, for example, that you're looking for. But that's the app itself. So I did want to highlight those differences while I'm doing this type of video. Because I get that question a lot. What's the difference between Apple TV Plus, Apple TV, the app, and the device? This is the device right here. So that's the Apple TV. This is the controller it comes with. Pretty basic. We do have Siri, as just the older ones did. Uh, power. You can move things around. You have your volume, volume. This from your menu. Just to go back. And on the back is just your basic Apple logo. In the bottom, you're going to see your charging port. So you don't need to worry about batteries. And that's about it when it comes down to the actual controller that comes with your Apple TV. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.